Excuse me, are you Miss Davis for the interview? Yes, you must be Mr. Huang. Yes, I am. It's good to meet you. Please Thank have you. a seat. How do you like the weather today? It's a bit hot, but I like it. I do too. <laughs> now, Mr. Huang, I'm going to go through your N-400 form with you, and then I'm going to ask you a few questions about U.S. government and history, and then I'm going to ask you to read and write a sentence, okay? Yes. You'll need to tell the truth. Yes. Okay. Please stand up and raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Good. You may sit down again. Thank you. Now, please show me your passport, your alien registration card, and your photos. Here they are. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. All right. What is your full name, please? Xian Hua Huang. And when did you become a permanent resident of the United States? Ten years ago. Almost. Ten years? Can you tell me where you were born? What country? China. Are your parents U.S. citizens? They're not alive today. Oh, I see. What's your current marital status? Current? Now? Yes, now. Are you married? Yes, I am. Is your race Asian? Yes, it is. And do you have blonde hair? No, I don't. Black hair? Yes, I do. What is your eye color? Brown. Are these addresses the only places you've lived in the past five years? Yes, they are. And you're an engineer, right? Yes, mechanical engineer. Are Jones Engineering and Chelsea Corporation the only places you've worked in the past five years? Yes, those two. How many trips have you taken outside of the United States in the past five years? In the past five years, let me see. I go. I went to China once. I visited family. Is that the only trip? No. One more trip. Where did you go? I traveled to Singapore. I visited family. Some family lived there. Okay. And how many times have you been married? I have been married two times, twice. I'm married now and I was married in China. Were you divorced? Yes, in China. When? I got divorced in 1989. Okay, now please tell me, is your wife a U.S. citizen? No, she is Chinese. And what's her immigration status? Sorry, I don't understand. Say it again, please. Yes, I asked about her immigration status. Is she a lawful permanent U.S. resident? Yes, she have a green card. Okay, and how many times has your wife been married, including annulled marriages? What kind of marriage? Could you repeat that, please? Yes, annulled marriages are marriages that have been declared void or invalid. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. My wife has been only married to me. And I see one child listed on your form. Ming Mei, is she your only child? Yes, she is. That's a very pretty name. I think so, too. And have you ever registered to vote in any election in the U.S.? Have I ever registered to vote here in the U.S.? No, I have never registered. And since getting your permanent resident card, your green card, have you ever failed to file a required federal, state, or local tax return? Have I ever failed to file a tax return? Yes, have you ever not filed a tax return? No, I always pay my taxes. Good. And do you owe any overdue taxes? I no owe. I do not owe any money. Good. Mr. Wang, have you ever been a member of or associated with any organization, association, fund foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other place? Sorry, that was a long question. Could you repeat that slowly, please? Sure. Have you ever been a member of any group, an organization or a club, for example? In the United States? Here or back in China? I have been a member of the Chinese Progressive Association. That's all. Okay. And have you ever persecuted anyone based on their race, religion, nation of origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? Not a long question. 
Could you please explain that question, please? Sure, I'll shorten it. Have you ever persecuted anyone for any reason? Oh, you do know what persecute means, don't you? Sure, treat bad, badly, because you don't like what that person does or believes. Exactly. No, I never persecute nobody. I mean, anybody. Have you ever committed a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Does offense mean something I do to offend someone? Not quite. An offense is something illegal or against the law. Oh, I understand. No. And have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. And have you ever failed to support your dependents or failed to pay alimony? Alimony? I forget what that means. Uh, alimony is money you give to your ex-wife each month after a divorce. Oh. After the Chinese divorce, the judge no make, did not make me to pay the alimony. Have you ever been ordered to be removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Give me a moment, please. Ordered to be removed or excluded? Excluded. Do you know what that means? Left out. I was never ordered to be left out or deported. Okay. And have you ever applied for an exemption from the military service of the U.S. Armed Forces? Let me think. I have never applied. I'm much too old for the Army or the Navy. <laughs> Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? When you say form of government, you mean something like democracy? Yes, that's close enough. Then I support our government form. Can you repeat that, please? Then I support our form of government. Thank you. And do you understand the oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I read it many times, so I understand. Good. And if the law requires it, are you prepared to bear arms on behalf of the United States? To fight for the U.S.? Yes. I would carry weapons if they want an old guy like me. <laughs> and have you studied the 100 government and history questions? Yes. Whom did the United States fight in World War II? Germany, Japan, and one more, Italy, I think. You're right. Now, what is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or you're not practicing a religion. You understand me? Yes, that was fine. Uh, now, who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. And who elects the president of the United States? It's the... The word college is in it. The electoral college. Very good. And what is the White House? The official home of the president. Good. Finally, who was the main writer of the Declaration of Independence? Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Excellent. Now, will you please read this question back to me? When is frack day? Will you please write this sentence? Flag Day is in June. You Excellent. You certainly understand English very well, Mr. Huang. Well, easy to understand, hard to speak. <laughs> well, there are no more questions and you passed, so all that's left now is to sign your name. Where? Here and here. Okay. Congratulations. 
Thank you, Miss Davids. It's not as scary as I thought. I knew you'd do well, and I know you'll be a wonderful American citizen. Thank you. Cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Xin trân trọng kính chào và hẹn gặp lại ở các video tiếp theo.